<laughs> As you can see, I have pasted up on all the cabinets all the different plans I have for you. I don't even care that you can see a lot of them. Because only one of them's real. <laughs> okay. Yes. Is it, is it the one that says Sarlacc in it? Yes, it is. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> well, now you got to do something different. I have to do something different. That's okay, because I make plans all the time. I'm going to keep you on your toes. Okay, uh, folks, this is going to be a big one. I'm going to finally kill all of you. <laughs> uh, look, well, I mean, you keep playing characters that are unkillable. A child, an old woman. You got, I'm going to get you somehow. Yes. Yes, do you mean in the game you're going to kill us? Or you <laughs> no, you cover all the windows there. <laughs> Just in the game, for now. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's, we need to learn a little bit about your characters, because these are like three new characters, uh, and we, I'm not very familiar with them, so I'd like to get to know them, so that way we can like all fall in love with them, and then they'll be so much sweeter when they're dead. Now, <laughs> now let's start over here. Uh, Angela. Uh, I am playing Suki Nighttooth, a half-orc paladin of St. Cuthbert. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really like really unlawful characters or like crime horrendous in here. But I thought maybe not dying might be better if I follow the lawful ones. And yeah, just try to follow the rules. I appreciate that. As a dungeon master, somebody not screwing up my game. Come on, love yeah. it. Try that for a change. Yeah, that works. All right. Uh, so, Glenna, why don't you tell me about uh, your old woman character? All right. So uh, she's so sweet. You're gonna love her, everyone's gonna love her. Her name is Cressida Rockbend. Okay. Uh, she's an elderly dwarf barbarian, mother of eight beautiful young women, who are all grown up and off on their own adventures. Uh, let me rattle off their names real quick. Their names are May, Lexis, Giselle, Felicity, uh, Beatrice, Lorelai, Nina, and Elsa May. Wow. You're really prepared. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you're a barbarian. Oh, uh, you must have some sort of what mighty hammer or something like that. I have a mithril frying pan. <laughs> <laughs> you have a frying pan. Of mithril. Yeah, but that is uh, like one d three points of damage. All right, sure. Hey, that would make it easy for me to kill that. Uh, <laughs> let's go over here, Michael. What, what are you up to? What's your character? Oh, oh. Uh, I, I, I noticed based on the rest of our, our party, I want to do something like magic based. You like, sure? I mean, a really powerful wizard. Cool. He's just like, he's got so much power. His name is Sinvisi Avenir. He's a human wizard who specializes in divination. Divination. So, like, you know, detecting thoughts yeah, and seeing like the and stuff. Yeah, so you have like fireballs though. Do you have fireballs? Like an attack spell? No, I said divination. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have teleport spells or help you get around? I said divination. <laughs> protection spells that uh, you know prevent harm from coming to you? Is light a protection spell? No, it's not. <laughs> That hey, look, this will be super easy to kill man. Great, I love this. Well, let's get right into this game. I've got an adventure for you that's going to like, I uh, you know, mess with your mind a little bit. Yeah, yeah. This adventure is called the Voyage of Madness, and we're just like starting into it. It's going to be big. So let's get ready to play YEG DMD. In the midst of the mighty Spire Mountains, typically uh, inhabited by dwarves, there is one lone mountain uh, that is uh, inhabited by gnomes, tinker gnomes in particular. Tinker gnomes are these fascinating uh, creatures that spend all their time building machines, things that, that are super elaborate. And, and in particular, Smokestack is the grandest of them all. Smokestack is a city built on top of the mountain with these high spires of chimneys of smoke. <laughs> it's busy there. There's, it's constantly, constantly going, like 24 hours a day, non-stop. And also it's like the, the highest incidence of explosions in any city across the continent. <laughs> <laughs> 
But they do have a top-notch uh, fire department, so that's pretty good. Uh, they have both put out and start fires, but you know, that's what's not worry about. <laughs> Today is a special day in Smokestack, uh, where now the plumes of black smoke has been replaced. They put something special in there so that now uh, spouts out green and yellow smoke. For today is going to be the day that the king of the Tinker Gnomes is going to choose a queen. And now this is very exciting. Everybody's basically running around the city. Uh, oh, who's the king going to choose? They all know. It's going to be the, uh, the, the queen of the forest gnomes. This is a straightforward kind of thing. <laughs> straightforward. He's going to propose to her. She's going to say, yes, this is fine. The ball that's happening at the castle, it's, it's just a formality. <laughs> that's why we're going to now go to the tailor. Uh, it's, the tailor's building is a huge one. They make all sorts of clothing for all sorts of people. And, and they sometimes have like modifications, so, because you know, maybe it's, uh, maybe you need uh, a jacket that just makes coffee for you. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> this is the kind of tailor's place that we have, where Suki has brought Cressida along. Suki is supposed to look formal for this wedding today, or for this uh, proposal today. She's supposed to be overseeing things, and Cressida might know a little bit about getting ready. <laughs> I'll be with you, Mo. Can you just give that giant lever a spin? It runs the loop that runs all the way up to the height. Oh, thank you. You've got big, muscly arms. Thank you, buddy. Welcome. Uh, uh, I'm Taylor. I'm the seamstress here. Thank you for you, ladies. Uh, oh, well, little Suki here has a very first walk. Oh, oh, so pretty. You got a ticket to the fucking bitch. I can't <laughs> I'm so I just, I'm, I'm envious. I'm so envious. I'd love to go to the ball. I'd love to see you. <laughs> anyway, well, I, I'm outfitting you and having you wear one of my pieces would be the next best thing. Oh, as long as my armor can stay on her, it, we're fine. Oh, yes, that's a, you know what, I'll work it into a corset. I think we can make that work. Oh, and maybe get, a, get some sort of fancy jacket. Okay, perhaps? Oh, we can do you some uh, And it's okay. Oh, <laughs> please! Going through some pieces. <laughs> yes, I think we have to try some these on. <laughs> what? 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 I said something is troubling. I'll do the, yeah, I'll do the, I'll do the wrapping and the stuff. So how do you? How did you get invited to the ball? What is your, your purpose for going? Are you in contention for oh, the proposal? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, I'm just there for security purposes. Oh, I was going to say that's a weird marriage staff. That makes much more sense. <laughs> well, I get that now. <laughs> I really like these colors on you. They're making everything pop, you know. You're always so small. Why can't, why can't you let people see your pretty face? <laughs> oh my god, your skin is such a glowing yellow like a chickadee, or a sunflower, or a goiter. It's the <laughs> best. <laughs> well, I think a subtle little black satin yes, bag black. around your hips will tie everything together. Hardware reach. I'm a little gnome. I have little gnome hands. In fact, I'm going to get you to do that because I'm barely just yeah. wrapping But, well, you should try to get the attention of the king anyway. He is a real catch. He's just but just a genius. The things he comes up with in his tour workshop are, are, are maddening. They, they, they boggle the mind what he comes up with. Why didn't he work on me? Like, comes up with. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's the greatest tinkerer in the entire land. Winsley. Winsley. Yes. Oh, that piece, such a catch. <laughs> I know you're not in the running, but maybe you should get in there. <laughs> 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 I'm going to get in there, too. Oh. Come on, no, no. Yeah, no, you no, can no, no. Yeah. You can just go. No, I raised eight girls all by myself. I don't need anyone now. <laughs> 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 you ladies have fun. I'll be over here bubbling over with jealousy and a pint of ice cream. 
gnomish king has been going around greeting different people. Uh, yeah, King Wimsley has been meeting with all these different suitors. Now, of course, once again, none of these people are going to marry King Wimsley. Uh, they're just this is formality. <laughs> and this is when Suki shows up for security duty. Oh, we're just 
Suki off at the palace. She's got a guy duty for the big wall. She looks She's at the palace? Of course she looks fantastic. She's got a nice black well, sash. We she must get there immediately. Mm. I know, I'm dressed for it. <laughs> but, uh, oh. you know, invite out me. Invitations. Stranger didn't see anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> Is in a rush, they need, he needs to get over to the palace. We must lie! <laughs> no, but I can go alone! I know I need your help! Come to the palace, we must away! Okay. And as he's about to leave this alley, he gets confronted by the sanitation uh, drones. Which are these, like, uh, <laughs> That he looks to identify garbage and to throw it away. Pure trash. Garbage, yes, garbage. It's in an alley, that's where garbage goes. Like somebody puts a fecal matter on the chair. That's where I never met. Alright. No idea how much these robes are worth. I think we're gonna have to fight these. Yeah, you're gonna have to fight the sassy robot. <laughs> <laughs> That's doing our job. Trash is in our linger and in our linger trash. Who <laughs> <laughs> was mean to you when you were a kid? Who wants to roll on behalf of our heroes? Okay. Yeah, so I'm going here, and uh, sure, you're going to roll, yeah, the two friends together, you're going to be rolling against each other. So you're rolling for the robots. Yes. Alright. Uh, our uh, cleaning robots, roll a 15. Our heroes, roll an 11. Gather trash. Thank you should turn around right now. Turn around right now. 
right now. Yeah, I'm gonna keep watching. Alright. Now remember, you want to go up to them and greet her generously. Say one nice thing about her, but don't be too desperate. I don't know anything about her! Just, uh, just compliment for her for her confidence. Oh, for her confidence? Yes. 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 Exactly. <laughs> Okay. 
This one here? Yeah. Got an eight for our sunflowers. That's pretty good for a sunflower if you really think about it. <laughs> but it's no match for a 20. <laughs> center. And this is near the bottom of it. Well, waste of a good dress, but at least I'm not sticky. Soda! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what were the words that you just said, honey? You guys said soda. <laughs> <laughs> I even do I! <laughs> All the best plans made by Mike. 
bison man, we got a one. A one. Alright, so, uh... I'm the one with the lady. Yes. Whatever that means. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, uh, I guess we gotta get it up to a... <laughs> I guess it's kind of short, huh? <laughs> Go for it! <laughs> they throw, and it actually latches on onto a gear up ahead, hey. above. But it's the wrong gear. And it actually rips them up. <laughs> and they go up through the chimney as it's now being expelled. And they go bouncing off the sides as they go up. <laughs> <laughs> and now they're sailing through green smoke, <laughs> and they land on the palace roof. <laughs> With very little health. <laughs> It was so nice in the air! <laughs> so rough on the terracotta shingles! <laughs> I mean... Oh, oh. oh, how you doing, sweetheart? <laughs> is this a weedy? <laughs> To uh, in this uh, parlor of the palace, there's uh, all sorts of candles. It's, it's actually a, a, a little bit of a candle factory, so new candles are constantly being made and lit in this nice parlor where this is where the uh, the king is trying to romance Suki as best as he can. <laughs> uh, yes. Woo! 
so close and intimate over the next little time we knew each other. Um, and I realized through some magic that we have magic together. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to go with an uh, insight check. Now you are a paladin, so I'm going to give you a plus two on this. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, let's do it. Um, so you were looking for uh, uh, a ten again, but you get a plus two. Whoa! Oh. Oh. No, you're just. A two plus a two. <laughs> <laughs> Cute, but no. <laughs> well, there's nothing uh, inherently evil or anything about this. It still makes me very uncomfortable. <laughs> Are you two lovebirds having fun? No, you know what? Um, the cake was just. Oh no! Oh no! I gotta go. Ta-ta! <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Now the Cambion, he leaves them there in that parlor, and he's going to where he wanted to go the entire time. <laughs> now that the king is distracted, we go to a room that the kingdom has been, uh, that the Tinker King has been working on. This grand machine. It's uh, got a bunch of rings on it that kind of uh, move around and oscillate. It's constantly moving in every which uh, direction. Rings upon rings going around in circles. Now, currently, it's just moving quietly, but there are these rooms. <laughs> but they can also be used to go to other planes. These tendrils of purple magic go and match up to his fingers. The rings start moving, and the uh, portal opens in front. It's a portal that leads to another place. And just as he is stepping through, <laughs> Sin Busy and uh, uh, Cressida come running in. They followed a vision of him. I knew it! The red guy! <laughs> <laughs> one with the horns doing the bad thing! Oh, a man with a mustache and an old lady. These are accurate statements! <laughs> Why is he going to have to talk about that? No, 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 no. This is the one who had the love potion and is now using the portals! Alright, you're too late. <laughs> Sin Busy goes in through the portal with the canyon. <laughs> <laughs> Probably turned on your magic portals for you, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Now, you did try to recall some of these things that your one daughter, who is a wizard, what was she studying? How does it go? How do you turn on this thing? Can you go to the same place that they just went? 
I'm going to uh, uh, make you roll on this. Uh, I'm going to give you a minus two. You're unfamiliar. You're a barbarian. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, so this is going to be a, a minus two to this roll. You do need to make a ten. So let's see. All right, there we go. Now we've been rolling so poorly that I don't even know if I need a minus two. But... Yeah. <laughs> But her instincts kick in. She kind of like refreshes the page, if you will. Know? <laughs> oh, that's right. Mina was saying, um, you turn it, so you turn it off, and you turn it on again. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then you use a hairpin to, uh, to, to get the little hole in the back. <laughs> that should reset and set it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait for her to visit me next. Go, 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 go. And off she steps through into the same portal that Sin Busy was in. <laughs> and where she comes out, it looks a lot like the room she was in, except it's darker. It's black floors. It's uh, made out of cold iron instead of like the happier copper that once was. It's cold in here, not warm like before. It smells in here. You can smell the smoke and the oil. And off she goes to try to find cities. Little does she realize that she's in the shadow fell. Like upside down, if you're more familiar with, uh, you know, uh, Stranger Things, where it's a dark inverse. Now, we are left with Suki. The love filter is about to wear off. I have come to the only conclusion that I can. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> you don't always have the greatest designs. And then she gets a sign from St. Cuthbert. The sound sounds like a chime very familiar to a hymn of St. Cuthbert. She opens the door, sees inside, this, this room full of rings that are moving, oscillating. <laughs> <laughs> She feels called. <laughs> the purplish black void opens up. She proceeds through. Suki was always meant to go through that door. What's beyond that door is a voyage of madness. <laughs> Find out next time on YEG DNB! <laughs>